Federal Agent. Federal Agent, backbone of today's crusade against crime. Scotland Yard, French Sûreté, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. These men are joined in a modern crusade against crime. Late one evening, officers of the Paris Sûreté of Police are talking with Monsieur Paul Boutier, President of the Bank of the Republic. And so, Monsieur Le Préfet, as President of the Bank of the Republic, I merely want to acquaint you with this fact. The bank has received a shipment of gold totaling five million francs. Hmm. We shall expect every vigilance and protection from the Sûreté. Oh, but of course, Monsieur Boutier, you may count on us. The continued bank robberies of the past several months have worried me quite a good deal. Nothing must happen to this gold. It is for distribution to smaller banks, to replenish their reserves, you understand? Perfectly, monsieur. Good. Au revoir. Uh, good day. Oh, uh, you have checked on the whereabouts of all bank robber suspects not yet apprehended, Diderot? My men have, monsieur le préfet. Well, at least André Lafarge is in the Bastille for a while. I think we may rest easy on that score. Oui, monsieur. But Lafarge's apache are not accounted for. What? But I thought you said... They have uh, disappeared from their old haunts. Stopped completely from sight. Something is stirring, monsieur. I am almost positive of it. You mean the gold? Oh, who knows? I think it might be well to be prepared. A guard detail should be stationed at the bank at all times until the gold is disposed of. No, that would not stop them. It was only a stroke of good fortune that we trapped Lafarge. They're devilishly ingenious when it comes to bank vaults. But Lafarge is their leader, and as long as he is safely out of the way in the Bastille... Yes, 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 yes. Lafarge is in the Bastille... But he still directs their activities. Someone has taken his place. Every moment they're at large, plotting and scheming, makes them that more dangerous. We must take steps to control the situation, Diderot. Saints, stop your infernal pacing, my lord. You'll wake the dead. I can stand it no longer, Lafarge. Cooped up in this cell, a slop they call food. It is too much. Yes. But you will learn, my friend. Lafarge. Hmm? You remember my visitor yesterday, the old lady? But yes, your aunt. So the guards believe, but it was my partner, dressed as a crone. The pigs did not even suspect. I have friends, too, on the outside. Yeah, but while the guards were not looking, he gave me something. See this, Lafarge? Gun. You intend to escape, then? Have you a plan? Yes. When the guard makes his rounds, are you with me, Lafarge? You work fast. We, oui, I am with you. Only you must furnish a place to hide. These police of ours, they give you no rest. One may escape only to be caught again. Your friends will take us in? Certainly. But we must plan carefully for tonight. 
It is a great risk. Here he comes, the guard. Stand back. Get hold of him through the bars when he stops. Lights out now. Ready, Lafarge? Ready. What are you two doing in there? Lafarge, Miller! Hey there! Get back! You! Get the keys from his pocket. All right. I have them. We must hurry. Come on. Careful now. Hey there! Stop! Stop! We'll have to run for it. Kept my bargain, eh, my lad? This is the place we hide out. In a dance hall in the center of Paris, they'll find us. <laughs> never. They will never think to look under their very noses. Besides, my men are here, and there is work to be done. Work? We. Oui. You have been my friend, my lad. I'm going to trust you. There, look out that window and tell me what you see across the street. People walking, the Maison Bleu, and... And the Bank of the Republic. Ah, the Bank of the Republic. And across the street. How near it is. But I, I do not understand, Lafarge. You will, my friend. You hear the music of the Apache downstairs, eh? Do you hear anything else? No. Good. Then it will interest you to know that even now my men drill a tunnel underground, under the street to the bank vault. In a few short weeks, we shall have in our possession five million francs in gold. Think of it. Five million francs? Ah, you do not think it can be done, eh? Oh, yes, yes. But only if the police do not catch up with us and spoil the plans. They will not even look for us. What do you think of that, my lad? Here, change your clothes, my friend. Henri has left these for us. But I, I do not... Go ahead. I need your prison clothes. You will see how cleverly we shall fool those pigs of the police. On the following morning, the chief of the Sûreté receives a report that a mysterious gas explosion in the poorer section of the city has claimed as its victims Lafarge and Maillard, the escaped men. A little later, Deputy Diderot enters the office. Oh, Diderot. Yes, monsieur. Ah, Gendarme found the bodies of Lafarge and Millard early this morning. A gas explosion. I know, monsieur le préfet. I know. So badly mutilated were they that only their prison uniform offered identification. Oh, it's justice, Diderot. Uh, oh, but perhaps you had better see them, eh? I have already been there, monsieur. So? Did, did you find anything out of order? You say that very peculiarly. It was quite surprising, monsieur Vidal. Quite surprising. So? It would seem Lafarge and Millard are very much alive. Much alive? What are you saying, Diderot? Why, surely the dead do not come to life. Precisely, monsieur. The mutilated bodies were not those of Lafarge and Millard, but two dead bodies from the morgue, stolen from their slabs in the night. Oh, dear. But how can you be sure? Oh, no, it's impossible. It's unbelievable. Mm, not at all. I checked our records on Lafarge and Millard both. Lafarge has very beautiful teeth. You, you say teeth? Oui, monsieur. Beautiful teeth. And they are his own. The mutilated man we originally supposed to be Lafarge has false teeth. All of them. Well. And uh, Millard? Uh, a mole on his left shoulder. Not so the supposed victim of the explosion. We must redouble our efforts. They've attempted to throw us from the trail. The Sûreté is pledged to their recapture. Oh. Oh, uh, one moment, Diderot. This may be of importance. Hello. Oh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm listening. Yes. Yes, I understand. We shall not fail you. Au revoir, and good luck. The call for which we have been waiting? Diderot, it is tonight, at last. I had best get my men. Everything is all right. Thus far, yes, but it's dangerous. We must not fail. Everything must be in order, precise to the minute. Midnight. I quite understand, monsieur. Till midnight, then. <laughs> Henri. Henri. 
How much farther? Almost there, Lafarge. Then up through the floor of the vault. And it's ours. A matter of minutes. Mm. We shall see the gold before midnight. It will be a task to carry it back. Lafarge! Lafarge! We are through! They are cutting into the vault! Fine. Come, my lord. Let us watch them enter the bank of the Republic as Paris sleeps. You're right, Lafarge. I'm behind you. Almost through. Uh, see? The acetylene torches are cutting a nice square for us. Easy there, men. Careful of that stone. Now, quiet, everybody. Yes. We are entering the bank. Come. Up with you, Arnie. Yes. Now, you, Millar. Hurry there. Give me your hand. Uh, now to gaze at the impregnable vault that no man can enter without the combination. Your plan has worked to perfection. Now, now let's see where... Quiet, quiet. I hear footsteps in the passageway, Lafarge. Give me your gun, Ari. No one must interfere with us now. Drop that gun, Lafarge. My lord, you... You, my prisoner. Yes, the Sûreté de Belize. Did you really believe it's so simple a matter to escape from the Bastille? Why, you... Just stand where you are. Your game's finished, my man. Finished. Drop that gun. Not yet, my lord. <laughs> Back against that right. Stop those guns. Miller, are you hurt? In the arm, but I'm all right, Diderot. I thought you'd be late. They broke into the vault a little sooner than I expected. We'll have that arm attended to immediately. You did a fine job, Millard. What seems to be going on in here? Monsieur Diderot, what is the meaning of all this? Oh, Monsieur Boutier, how fortunate that you are here. I had important business tonight which kept me late at the bank. I heard the shooting. How did these men get in here, Diderot? Tunneled under from the dance hall across the street, Monsieur, and... Uh... Uh, pardon, Diderot. I think that Monsieur le Président already knows how these men enter the vault. Eh? What's that? Just what do you mean, sir? I mean, Monsieur, that you're a definite part of this plan. The instigator, in fact. How dare you? This to me, the President I'm of... Unfortunate for you, Monsieur Boutier, that the dance hall lease was in your name. Lafarge told me of that, too. You are sure of this, my lord? Oui. He thought to receive the lion's share of the gold, even as he put the blame on the others and sought police aid. Then be so kind as to accompany the gendarme, Monsieur le Président. Oui, monsieur. Take them all, men. Come, come, my lad. We shall see the doctor about your wound. A hard job. Well done. for our next presentation of thrilling stories related to this modern crusade as each nation calls upon its chief bulwark against crime the federal agents